Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be doing the October edition of my Booktuber shoutouts. So, I've got a few different ones in this list, a few newbies, a few oldies, a few author tubers, a bit of everything. So, without further ado, let's just jump on in. So, first up we have C. Tina Loves to Read. She's uh, given herself the tagline, the Bronx Booktuber, which is pretty cool. Obviously, New York based and can go to a bunch of events because of that. Very kind of lively and I say opinionated, but in a good way, you know. Um, she doesn't hesitate you to tell tell you how it is. Okay, up number two we have Sam's nonsense. So Sam has quite a big channel, but I only recently found her, and she's really nice. We chat on Twitter and stuff sometimes. I don't know if she watches my videos. Maybe she does. Hello, if so. But um, yeah. Really nice, really nice girl. Uh, she's into quite a bit of sci-fi and fantasy. I know she likes Robin Hobb a lot as well. Okay, up number three we have Mom's Book Collection. And this is the first of two channels which have just the perfect names really to describe those channels. Uh, yeah, if you want to kind of get a nice varied mixture of different books and... Um, you know, she's very approachable as well, very kind of keen member of the community. And that's kind of what I want to shout out a lot as well, you know. Um, yeah. There are a lot of people. There are a lot of underappreciated people in the community, and I think uh, Mom's Book Collection is one of them. Next up, we have Big Hard Books and Classics. I was actually just watching him talk about uh, Dubliners by James Joyce. As the title of the channel goes, it covers big hard books and classics. And uh, yeah, if you're into the classics or into good, you know, just longer books, the, the big hard books, then um, not hardbacks, hard books, then go and check out his channel. Number five, we have, uh, I think this was my answer for the question of like, what is your, who is your booktube OG? It's Missy from Binge Reader. So um, I've been watching Missy for years now, since, you know, way before I was even booked, you know, way before I was booktube, and probably four or five years ago at least. Uh, she's been around for ages. She has great taste in books and particularly in uh, Stephen King. So check out her Stephen King collection. And also in October, she usually does like Halloween videos where she'll get into like full makeup and everything. So uh, definitely check those out and uh, say I sent you. Number six, we have Margaret the Word Nerd. So Margaret is a writer and a booktuber. So uh, lots of stuff going on on her channel. She's also, I see her quite often on uh, Twitter as well. So she's just very active in the bookish community as a whole. And um, yeah, some great quality content on her channel. I just really recommend checking her out, to be honest. You're, you're in for a binge if you head over there. Okay, then we have This Is Me. And I think his name is Matthew. Hopefully I got that right. Otherwise, I feel bad. I really enjoyed his video recently. He went to get uh, a Shadowhunters tattoo, which is quite cool. Um, he's also done things like his cosplay things. He goes to a lot of cons. So you get like a different side of things. You get more, I guess, more of the comic side of, of uh, you know, of books and whatnot. But he, he's obviously a big reader as well. He likes Sarah J Maas. Uh, I think he's at university at the moment as well. All in all, just he's a really nice dude. And if you're not watching him, you, you know, you're missing out. Then we have Buckham Jenna, who I literally have her video up on the screen now. I was watching Bark Vader Turns 5. I guess her dog had a birthday. And uh, she's crazy, but in a good way. You know when people are kind of crazy, but in a good way? Yeah, that would be that would be Jenna. And she's relatively new to the community, but I think she's already doing quite well. I mean, she's making friends and stuff, which is good to see. I really enjoy her channel. Like, her enthusiasm for books is just, you know... It's, it's difficult to match and it doesn't feel forced like I, I, won't, I won't name channels who feel forced but <laughs> you know who you know if you know me anyway up next we have Peter James UK so Peter James is actually like a best-selling writer I think he sold about 18 million books or something and why I recommend his channel he's not necessarily so much a part of the community but he meets lots of crime writers basically and he'll do uh, you know the writer's studio where he'll ask them questions and do interviews he'll also share you know behind the scenes things and footage from his launch events and stuff and finally we have another author tuber slash booktuber which this would be Cam from Wolfshot Publishing so Cam recently celebrated his two year anniversary on booktube I actually read one of his books uh, Bob's and Virgin a little while back for uh, um, uh, Todd and Danes, indie read along. He also tagged me to do the Tinder book tag, but it seems really difficult, so I haven't done it. Sorry, Cam. But if you want to tag me in another tag, I will probably do that one. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, just a, you know, a nice guy. Important, again, another important member of the community. And uh, his videos are always very creative as well, so I always get some ideas that hopefully one day I shall apply to my own videos. 
So anyway, there we have it. That is it for this month's shoutouts. As always, all these channels will be linked below. There's also a playlist knocking around somewhere with all of my recommendations in where I've been doing like 10 a month. So check those out if you need new channels. Let me know in the comments if you've watched any of these channels already. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.